We're going to get started in just a little bit. We're going to do some testing to make sure everything is good. Can you hear me? Hi, Zach. Awesome. Glad to hear that. And then I'm just going to make sure that we can share the screen as well, if y'all don't mind just letting me know if that is the case. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, Pat. Can you hear me? Yep, sounds good. Awesome. Can you, can everybody see the uh, presentation as well? I can't see it, but there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then Pat, you can see that there's the chat and then at the very bottom it has Q&A. Yeah, I can see we've got the Q&A section and the chat section. So, and you're posting the links in the ch chat section, right? Yeah, I'm gonna post the links in the chat section. Perfect. Emily? Yeah. I'm showing that that's just going to like all panelists. Oh, that is fair. Let's get it to all panelists and attendees. Can you change it? Yeah, it's up there.
We've got seven people. We're just waiting on a few more. Glad to have you all, though. I see a couple of familiar names. That's great. And then right before we get started, we'll just go over a couple things. So all of the links are in the um, webinar chat. And then if you have questions either afterwards or during the presentation, we do have the Q&A session where you can actually uh, ask questions and then we'll answer them uh, in real time as well. So feel free to ask questions in the Q&A uh, little bubble at the bottom. Um, and then we'll get started in just a little bit to give a little bit more time for everyone, if that's okay. But we're glad to have y'all. How's everyone's week going so far? We can use the chat while we're hanging out. Y'all uh, joined our Facebook page as well, just to kind of get connected with other students and get started on that. I know that uh, we've got quite a few students that are already in the Facebook group uh, and they're introducing themselves, which is awesome. We're starting to take polls on everything. So uh, make sure that you're a part of the Les Business Scholars Lausanne 2020 uh, Facebook group, and we would love to have you. Can you uh, post a link? Oh, no, Miley. <laughs> that sounds like not a super fun day, but uh, I'm glad that you're still, uh, I guess, cognitive enough to join us because I know that getting your wisdom teeth pulled out can make people pretty loopy, but thanks for joining us anyway. And then we're just going to wait for a few more. We're expecting uh, a little bit more than what we currently have, so we'll just give a few people some time to uh, check in, but we'll start uh, regardless in about a minute or so. Uh, thanks, Miley. Emily, do you want to post the Facebook group link in there as well? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Um, just to reiterate, you do have to be um, a University of Utah student or uh, admit or applicant at the very least to be a part of this Facebook group. So if you are interested in Lasan and are a business scholar, I will let you into the Facebook group. But I do vet it to make sure that everybody's safe and secure and uh, all of your information sticks between the uh, few Lasan priority students uh, so that you are all good to go and safe. And then I think we are good to Get started if that's okay. Well, thanks again, everybody. Welcome. We're so glad to have you here for the uh, webinar tonight, just to kind of go over uh, the business scholars priority housing with Lasan. We're so grateful to have Pat Jones joining us. Uh, he is the wonderful person who gets to uh, let you be a part of the Lasan Studios and all the amazing things that it has to offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through the housing application process just to make sure that y'all are ready and prepared for the next steps. 
I know that we sent you an email a couple of weeks ago, just kind of going over a timeline. We just want to reiterate all that information and make sure that you know everything that you need to know. And then Pat's going to talk to you more about Lasand and all the amazing things that you have through that. And after that, we'll ask some questions for you or answer some questions. So let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, the housing timeline uh, starts pretty much on Monday. So the uh, housing U of U application opens on February 10th. This is designed for every single student that um, has been admitted to the University of Utah who wants to live on campus. Um, so for students, and correct me if I'm wrong, Pat, but students who don't want to live on campus don't have to actually complete this application. Um, mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, additionally, you're going to, as a uh, Lasan student, want to select Lasan Studios as your first choice for housing. If you do have an alternate choice, that's totally fine. I know a lot of students are interested in Calvert Village uh, and some other uh, first year spaces and dorms such as Chapel Glen and um, I think I said that wrong. Is it Chapel Glen? Uh, Chapel uh, Gateway Heights or Chapel Glen? I can't remember exactly which one. Yeah, I can remember really. exactly. I think it's Chapel Glen uh, and then the one that starts with an S that I can never remember either. I should have, I should have gone over my housing. Sage Point. Sage Point, thank you. Mm -hmm. And so just to kind of reiterate, you're going to start the application, make sure that Lasan is at least your first choice, um, and then you can add, answer all the questions from there. You'll want to complete the application, the housing application, and uh, submit the application fee. We'll get into fees in a little bit by March, no later than March 10. I do know that some of you uh, may or may not be admitted to the University of Utah just yet, and that information should be coming out uh, in, the, in the next month or so. Uh, students should be finding out by March whether or not they've been admitted. If you're a business scholar, though, and you've been in, in Lassonde, your chances are pretty high. So don't fret too much, and then you will still have several days to complete that application, so no worries on that. But if you have further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, additionally, if you haven't received your acceptance uh, from the University of Utah, I would highly recommend reaching out to admissions to make sure that you're not missing any information because that can hold up your application significantly. So maybe just double check that they got your transcripts and your test scores and you should be good to go. Um, after March 10th, that's gonna be the cutoff for the living learning community um, deadline. So they're gonna cut off that for priority housing for the LLCs. And then on March 16th, you'll actually be notified by Pat and uh, the wonderful people at Lasan that you've been admitted into the uh, Lasan 400, which is a huge honor here. There's lots and lots of applicants and the fact that you get to be a part of that your freshman year is phenomenal. Um, after March 16th, when you're notified, you'll receive an additional notification and email that on March 26th, that you will get a housing lottery time slot. So what that means is that when uh, students select their rooms, they get a specific time assigned to them and you just kind of log in and at that time and select your room, whether or not you want a single or a double or wherever you want to live. And then you can actually work to uh, select your roommate as well. So if you find a roommate that you really want to live with, who's also in the um, business scholars priority list on housing, that's kind of what we designed it for to help you find some uh, students with similar interests and similar um, goals with their college experience to be good roommates for you. Uh, and then you can actually select them or somebody else who specifically lives in Lausanne. So we do have that cutoff that you and your roommate both have to be accepted into the Lausanne 400. It doesn't have to be a business scholar if you don't want, but if you have a friend who you know is admitted into Lausanne as well, uh, you guys can be roommates, which is pretty great. Mm -hmm. um, from the 29th to April 5th, uh, students will receive the uh, reservation for their time slot. So that's between those dates that you'll get your time slot. Uh, as a priority student, it'll be a uh, significantly earlier than the average student. So we've got some students that aren't applying to housing until like April 25th. So you get a really strong advantage of being earlier on in the process uh, so that you get the um, rooms and the, and the choices that you want for the most part, as long as you kind of keep some extra uh, 
backups just in case, but you should be good to go no matter what. And then you typically end up getting a single or a double and no matter what first year um, residence hall you end up living in. Lasan does have some awesome uh, additional choices for you, but they might be a little bit more down the road. So the housing application process, just to kind of go into the actual list of how you're going to do things. You're going to log into the CIS account. That's that University of Utah portal link that I gave. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to log into your specific um, portal that has literally everything from A to Z that you could want. It's got like your email, your email connected to that. It's got uh, your class registration in there, housing, of course, financial aid, all of the things that you can need. CIS is your place to go. Um, your username is going to be your U student ID. That's the U followed by seven different numbers. Um, and then your initial password should be your birthday in the form of month, month, day, day, year, year. Uh, if you've already logged into CIS, you could have possibly changed the password and then it is whatever your heart's desire. Um, and then this will only work if you've been admitted to the University of Utah. So that um, CIS portal and uh, page for each individual student is specifically designed for admitted and enrolled students at the University of Utah. So if you haven't been admitted yet, you'll be able to do so after March 1st. From there, you're going to click the student housing tile. It's this beautiful little tile here in the triangle that's got a little house in it and says student housing. Good. Pretty obvious, hopefully. Uh, and then that will actually walk you through into the Housing U app to complete the application. You might try to do it before the tent. It's not going to work just to kind of let you know. So really try to do it after the tent or else it might be significantly more confusing to try to get it completed. Um, additionally, you might see some pretty similar questions. Lassonde asks questions about housing. We asked you questions about your housing preferences. So you'll see some things that you might be like, okay, I already answered this. This is specifically for the University of Utah Housing. Um, and so they need to have this information probably more so than ourselves. Uh, and so really make sure that you complete all of the questions that are asked of you uh, to the best of your ability, uh, just to make sure that everything is covered and you're good to go in the future. To go over uh, some additional things, we want to make sure that you know everything up front and foremost, but there is a one-time application fee for housing of $130, uh, and that's just to kind of get you implemented and kind of secure your space for uh, housing initially. From there, uh, when you reserve your room between that March 29th and April 5th, you'll also have a reservation fee for that room to, kind of, to officially secure your space and your roommate and everything that you need, um, that does actually come out of your housing cost. So that's kind of nice that you know that that reservation fee is going towards something that you'll be utilizing in the future. Uh, and then it is additionally, if you do happen to change your mind, I don't think any of you will because this is the best program and the best school ever, but um, you are able to refund that reservation fee up until May 1st. After May 1st, you can get a partial refund uh, until sometime over the summer, uh, but for a full refund, it does have to be before the enrollment deadline for the U. Just to kind of give you a little bit more information, if you do need to find out more about housing, you can go to the housing.utah.edu. Uh, and then I also added the housing rates and meal plans uh, pages on the chat panel as well. Uh, those, you'll notice that it's got a pretty large bolded sign saying draft. That means that it's not necessarily official just yet, but it will give you a strong idea of what your costs might be for housing and things like that, meal plans, all, all that fun stuff. And then now we get to pass it on over to Pat. So Pat, when you uh, want me to change a slide, just let me know and I'll continue to move forward. Perfect. Thanks, Emily. So. Like Emily said, my name is uh, Pat Jones. I'm a program manager in the Lausanne Entrepreneur Institute. So I manage the application process and uh, for the housing app and, and the selection process along with our other staff here at the Institute. And just one additional thing to add to all of that housing new application. It does open on Monday, February 10th, but it opens at 9 a.m. 
So oh. if you're planning on staying up till midnight, it's 12.01 and, and hopefully applying, it's not gonna be open at 12.01, it'll be open at 9 a.m. on Monday. Um, just as just kind of a point of clarification there. But yeah. now a little bit about Lausanne. Um, so obviously Lausanne uh, is an amazing building. We have lots of really great housing options. Um, Emily put a link to our website in the um, chat there. So if you have a moment, you can go look at our housing options. We have really great 360 degree tours. Um, and options for students to, to live at the space. So we have four themed floors kind of built around the university strengths. Um, and when you go in and book your room, you'll choose which floor you wanna live on. Uh, it's a first come first uh, reserve basis. So the, the top floor, the fifth floor is our game design and, and animation floor. Um, the fourth floor is our outdoor adventures and gear floor. The third floor is our uh, design floor. And the second floor is global impact and sustainability. So these, these floors have different meetups and um, programming throughout the year built around these themes, um, specifically for Lausanne residents. Um, so make sure to check out our website and look at all those amazing housing options we have uh, for students. Like Emily said, singles and doubles are for freshman students, but there's some other options for you after that. We also have a, a, um, the Neelam and Hanger on the ground floor, which allows students to um, create and prototype products. So there's 20,000 square feet of workshop space on the main floor, um, along with um, additional maker space on each floor for students to utilize too, um, kind of in community areas. And all of our, our rooms are built in cluster styles. So you're in different room clusters with other students at the University of Utah. Next one there. And then we also uh, have unmatched support on campus for student entrepreneurs and students looking to collaborate on different business ideas or launch businesses. So just to give you an idea, we had five, over 500 student startups and teams form last year that we had interact with our, our programming and competitions in one way or another. So throughout the whole academic year and summer, we have students collaborating and getting together uh, around different ideas and um, problems they've found in the world and, and working to, to solve those problems through uh, businesses. So it's pretty fun there. Yeah. Go ahead and go to the next slide. Yeah. So living at, at uh, Lausanne, just a few of the benefits of specifically living there. So we are the, the best, uh, or I think the, the most, um, the best situated uh, housing option on campus. So we are right in the middle, closest to the student union and, and the business buildings. Um, the Spencer Fox Cycles Business Building and, and other ones where you'll have your classes uh, and other spaces too. We have the Miller Cafe. I'm obviously biased, but I think it does have the best food on campus and we've heard it that. It does. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really popular. It's open 24 hours a day. Um, so it's, it's one of two locations on campus that are open 24 hours. Um, and then again, if you're living at Lasonde, you have additional programming and, and access to the space. So the hangar floor is open to students um, between um, 8 a.m. and midnight for all students. But if you live in the building, you have 24 hour access to the, make the main floor area, as well as the uh, maker spaces on each of the individual um, floors upstairs. So lots of really great study space, plenty of co-working space for you to collaborate with other students and, and use, your, uh, use the space to study on and work on projects. So one really cool thing, probably my favorite one of my favorite things about the building is the make space. So we have a full wood shop and metal shop um, on the ground floor for students to prototype different ideas. We also have uh, eight 3D printers that are free for students to use. We don't charge for the filament or anything like that. And we also have a, a team of 18 student leaders um, that oversee the space and manage the space um, and are on scholarship and, and provide training for uh, Lausanne residents to use the, the facilities and the 3D printers and the wood shop. Um, so we do allow uh, uh, students to apply for student leadership positions with us. So lots of our student leaders are also business scholars um, and they get involved in our, our make space and being tool mentors or running our entrepreneurial competitions or running our hours with experts programs. Um, so we have a lot going on there. Um, and again, it's all free to, for, for you to use. And we have a, a full uh, tool room as well with over 100 different items, tool items for students to check out. Um, so there's, there's no 
um, no limit to what you can really put together and do there uh, at Lasan with the with the makespace and, and creating prototypes and things like that. So really cool. Go ahead and go to the next one. And then we also have uh, all sorts of amazing programming. So um, throughout the year to help students launch their business or companies or collaborate. So we have our uh, our hours with experts program where we have I, uh, intellectual property lawyers, um, professional accountants, marketing uh, folks, uh, design folks, um, all professionals uh, established in Salt Lake City come in to meet with students in a group setting and you can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one sessions with these students as well. We also have one of my favorite program is probably our Get Seated where each month we have a pitch event um, in the Miller Cafe and students um, it's free to show up to the, the event. You can show up, bring your phone, and you get a vote for who gets awarded money. Kind of think of a, a Shark Steak Tank style pitch event. So the first one in, in uh, fall 2020 will be in September. So definitely um, grab some friends, come down to that, eat some pizza. We have the pie, pie pizza every uh, pitch event and get a vote on who gets funding. And then also if you have a business idea or a company you're working on, you can apply to get funded through Get Seated and, and get awarded up to $2,500 in, in funding for, uh, for your next milestone in your business. Um, and then we also oversee our, our entrepreneurial competitions, um, the Utah Entrepreneur Challenge, which awards $100,000 to uh, student startups. Um, and then we also have our company launch program. So uh, it talks about dedicated office space in the building. So through company launch, students can apply for an office space in Lausanne Studios. Um, so if you've been in the space before on the ground floor, there's all, those, there's all those glass offices right at the main entrance. Those are all student startups. So it's again, free to participate in. You get dedicated office space, mentoring and coaching from our executive director, Troy D'Ambrosio, additional hours with experts appointments, and then also um, access to our founders board meetings where you can meet with other students that are starting companies. Um, so these are just all of the resources. There's so much going on. Check out our website too. We have our calendar online. It can be really overwhelming. A lot of students say, I don't know exactly where to start. You can do as much, um, you know, as you want and really dive in and, and go to stuff that speaks to you. We have workshops throughout the year as well. Some on HTML or how to use a green screen or when to, uh, when to kill your business idea. So all these different things throughout the year that are happening in this space. Uh, again, free for you to drop in and check out and, and use. Um, so feel free to kind of like an a la carte menu to, to brush up on your skills and your, uh, your expertise to, to help you uh, be well-rounded and get involved. Yeah. Go ahead to the next one there. Mm -hmm. So this year new too, we're excited is, is our Lasan Founders Program. So you probably saw when you were filling out the Lasan Studios application is a question that asked you if you wanted to apply for Lasan Founders. So if you did select yes, you're asked to talk about your entrepreneurial experience or um, companies you've been involved with or working on. Uh, so these students are going to be um, incoming freshmen that get a housing scholarship, a thousand dollar housing scholarship your first year to um, live with, with, uh, with the best entrepreneurs across the country, right? Best student entrepreneurs. Um, so um, it's going to be a really fun environment for students to collaborate and get scholarship money and, and have a really good support system through all of our programming. Um, and others, other Lausanne founders too. So I know a few of you uh, in the Business Scholars Program have applied to the Lausanne Founders Program. If you're interested in it, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll put my contact information in the chat, um, but you can always apply after the fact as well. You can email me and I'd be happy to, to get you some more information and help you apply for that program. Um, yeah, but we're excited about that. It's it's a first of a kind program for uh, really active and, and committed undergraduate entrepreneurs. All righty, now we're going to open it up. If anybody does have questions, feel free to ask them now. We're happy to help with any questions, whether it be business scholars related, Lasan related, or housing related, or housing application related. Also going to provide my contact info as well if you have uh, specific questions related to business scholars or your admission or anything that we can help with on that too.
Yeah, feel free to ask me questions about the um, Alsan Studios and housing and um, the housing new application or really any questions you might have about uh, um, Lasan in general. So we got a question that says, I believe that you said that the floors for the Lasan are first come first serve. So, and you asked when that date would be. So <clears throat> earlier, Emily had gone through the timeline. Um, you'll get your Lasan acceptance on March 16th. Um, if you're in that, if you've done all the steps and you, you've gone through that Lasan priority housing uh, with business scholars, you'll get that um, March 16th to get accepted and then reservations for Lasan Studios start on uh, March 29th. So you'll be able to go in and, and reserve your room starting March 29th and March 30th, depending on your lottery time. Um, and if you go in early enough, you should be able to get a, um, a room on whatever floor you want. So our, our, our rooms don't usually fill up for at least a week or two after the, the reservations start. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and then just to be clear, business priority gives early access to the application process. So correct. So if you're doing the Lasan Studios um, housing application and business uh, uh, priority through business scholars, then um, you'll get uh, an earlier reservation time and everything than, uh, than the general student uh, incoming freshman student population at Lasan Studios. Awesome. Hannah wants to know what the new Cowart building is like and any will any business scholars be rooming there or just at Lasan? Um, that's a great question. Cowart is awesome. It's brand new. It's actually still kind of being finalized right now, uh, but it is a gorgeous new facility that is phenomenal. It will house first year students, uh, specifically first year students that are honors, interested in STEM, uh, kind of on the tech side of uh, career paths for um, the University of Utah. So it will definitely house some business scholars, uh, but Lasonde is first and foremost our first love. So uh, a lot of our students tend to live in Lasonde and at some capacity, uh, but Callert is probably looking to be a pretty, uh, pretty great space for business scholars to want to live as well. Great question. Mm -hmm. And besides fees, uh, what are other prices? Um, when you're referring to other prices, are you talking about maybe like housing or a room reservation um, or with business scholars? There are some additional fees such as, you know, there's the enrollment fee that you have to pay for the University of Utah. You'll also have to pay for um, new student orientation registration as well. I think it's like 60 bucks. It's not much for that orientation registration. Um, Y'all have enrolled already, so you're, you're good on that part for business scholars, so no worries there. Uh, and then as a business scholar, you will either um, be in the main cohort uh, or in the global cohort, depending on which section you decided to be a part of. And the main cohort is a $1,000 class fee per semester, and the global cohort is uh, $2,500 per semester. Uh, and that's all inclusive for everything that you do as a business scholar. So, you know, all of the trips, all of the speakers, meeting with all of the phenomenal professors that we have and all the networking opportunities. Um, and then with housing, it kind of varies uh, pretty drastically from uh, residence hall to residence hall. Not drastically, but um, there, there's some pretty uh, more specific spaces if you go to the housing rates. Um, for costs of housing as well. And then of course, in-state tuition is uh, around 9,000 and then out-of-state tuition is around 30,000 for a business scholar. Yeah, and the housing, Emily posted the link to the housing um, rates. Uh, if you scroll to the top of the chat, it's the third, or it's, yeah, it's the third or fourth link posted there. So make sure to check out those housing rates. It'll have everything for, for all housing options on campus. And then question is how, another question is, how easy is it to get involved with Lasan workshops? So um, yeah, Philip has, has posted about our Instagram. So if you have- Good job, Philip. <laughs> yeah, if you're interested, follow our, uh, follow our Instagram at Lasan Institute. Because um, uh, Thad, our, our marketing and, and uh, director does a great job of, of um, and our student, uh, well, another business scholar, one of our business scholars. Oh, Tori, she's one of our students too. She manages our Instagram page. Yeah, so she helps us out with marketing. So follow us on Institute to get a, a really good glimpse of everything going on. But 
it's really easy to get involved. Um, we have our, our calendar online at lasan.utah.edu. So you're welcome to drop in and, and stop by any event we have going on. It's open to all University of, of Utah students. So um, it's a really great community. Um, uh, you know, we've had students say that Lausanne is, is one of the only places uh, on campus and, and di or residence halls where you're waiting for your food and you'll talk to the student next to you. So it's an extremely welcoming community. Uh, our student leaders are amazing. Our business scholars that live in the building are amazing. Um, and really all of our students that live there are, are quite amazing. And it's, it's a diverse community as well. So we've got over 60 different majors represented in the building um, and everything from freshmen, which we have the majority of, uh, and you'll, you'll be living with, with mostly freshmen uh, all the way up to PhD students uh, in the building. So it's a really cool and welcoming environment and a great place for you to meet a lot of people um, due to the cluster style. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully Looks that Looks like he's got a follow-up question about getting involved with community projects in any way. So I'm not sure what you mean by community projects, but maybe like a, a something off campus. Um, so we don't do too much off campus outside the university. Uh, we do have an ambas a Lausanne ambassadors program that does go out to visit um, schools and, and different events in the community to talk about entrepreneurship and do innovation tournaments with the community. Um, most of what we do in our programming is, is focused on University of Utah students first and foremost and then college students as well across Utah. So some of our, our competitions are open to any college student in the state. Um, but, uh, but, but all of our stuff is student focused and, and student driven. So. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for the questions. Those are good questions. Yeah, these are great questions. You can see why you're, you're going to be business scholars and going to be at Lausanne. This is awesome. Uh, any other questions or anything else we can help out with? Otherwise, I'd say it's a pretty good time to, to call it the beginning of the weekend. All right. Cool. Well, uh, everyone has my contact info there in the chat as well, so feel free to reach out to myself. Emily's great as well, so feel free to reach oh. out to her. We got another question. Awesome. How does commitment apply in consideration to the business founders program, such as scholarship or consideration for admissions? Um, Hold on one second here. So for the Lasan Founders Program, we're going to be um, sending out those acceptance um, uh, letters sometime in the next couple of weeks. Um, you do have to be accepted to the University of Utah, which everyone I'm, uh, I'm you know, pretty sure would be. So you have to be yeah. accepted to the University of Utah. You have to live in Lasan. Uh, the scholarship itself will go towards housing specifically, so it won't um, impact any other or shouldn't impact any other scholarship students receive. Um, so our scholarship will be specifically for housing for the Lausanne Founders Program. Um, and when we send out the email, we'll just ask that you let us know if you're going to be participating in the Founders Program, um, you know, probably by, by May 1st, um, along with the general um, uh, deadline for, uh, for campus. Any other questions that we can answer? Well, if you do, again, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or to Pat uh, with any questions. Uh, if we can't answer it, we can usually find somebody who can. So um, please, we're happy to help and make sure that everything is squared away and taken care of for you uh, for when you get here in the fall. Um, and we're very excited to see you at, at the very latest August 20th, right, Pat? Yeah, the very latest. Feel free to stop by and, and, and email, reach out to me, and I'll take you on a tour of the building before that as well. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Bert. <laughs> All right. We'll see you at our invitation. Bye. Bye.